Good morning guys, welcome back to another video with moi. <laughs> with moi. Moi? Moi. Anyway. Welcome back. Today I'll be sharing not one, not two, but three detoxifying cleansing beetroot juice slash smoothie recipes. I'm still in the mix of making it juices or smoothies because they're sort of juicy but they're also smoothie like so yeah so these are a few recipes that i got online i will share down below the link to where i found the recipes as well as well as the all three combo of where you can find all three recipes in one because i did a post about it i was inspired to do this video just because recently like a couple days ago i pulled out no kidding the mother of all beetroots from my garden. I swear it's like the biggest beetroot I've ever seen. It's been brewing in there for a year in our garden. Not intentionally, I just haven't picked it because when I picked the ones that we were growing before, they were just like a little bit too small. Not too small, but just small, smaller than I'd like. So I was like, oh, I'll just let these kind of cook a little bit longer in the ground, see how they go. And then I kind of just forgot about them. And then I recently saw that they were still there. I was like, oh, I should really pick them because, you know, I don't want any like, Wraps or anything to get to them because we actually had that in the past. Wraps got to our beetroot, so it was a sad day, guys. Oh, I was very devastated. <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, okay, I'll pick it out and I'll use it in like a recipe or something. Anyway, I picked it out and boom, this like giant beetroot just popped out of the ground. I was like, oh, I swear we could win competitions with this thing. It's massive. It was a proud day for me, guys, I must say. Gardener's dream right there. The biggest beetroot known to man just sitting in my hand. I was like, I have to use this in more than one recipe because it's actually huge so I thought I'll do some beetroot cleansing drinks and recipes like that because I've really been focusing on my liver health because after my interview with Dee I was like oh I feel like an underlying issue with me is that I probably have a, a weaker liver especially because my two sisters have um, weaker livers I was like oh it might be an issue for me too because I get quite a bit of cellulite on my legs and I was like oh because she did mention that it can be a problem with the detoxifying because it's a build up of toxins and the fat is stored in like um, a netting kind of way rather than nice and smooth over your leg and I've also been focusing on having more zinc and more vitamin C more vitamin A and things like that to improve my overall skin health I'm trying to find a collagen supplement but I'm in the process of doing that at the moment so I haven't found one yet but anyway going back to what we were talking about today so I pulled out this beetroot I was like oh, I'm gonna make the recipes with it and to help assist my liver with detoxing I've been having a lot of different div liver detox smoothies and shakes and juices but I thought I'd mix it up and have beetroot because I have been listening to a lot of podcasts and they do recommend having a variety in your diet because that helps increase your microbiome in your gut which is like its own little rainforest ecosystem and that has a big uh, impact on your overall health, immunity, hormone function. It even has a gut-brain connection, so it actually imp like a lot of the serotonin that's um, produced in the body is actually produced in the gut, and serotonin is like the feel-good hormone in the brain. So I was like, I'm going to assist my liver, help it with detoxifying a little bit better, and just get it back to tip-top shape again. So yeah, that's pretty much why I'm doing this video today. A long sum up of that, really. Could have done it in two seconds, but I thought I'd give you the whole shabam. Just because. So, beets are actually fantastic, like, nutritional powerhouses. They are rich in so many different nutrients. You also often find that when you see a really colourful vegetable or fruit, so something that's really, like, bright purple, it's packed with antioxidants. You can actually eat the leaves of beetroot. I know, surprising. I know it's rhubarb that you can't eat the leaves of because they're quite toxic. But beetroot you can eat the leaves of because they're rich in vitamins A, vitamin C, calcium, iron, and a few other nutrients. So you can actually use the beetroot leaves to make salads, to put in your smoothies, just like as extra green garnishes on top of other dishes. So you can just be really experimental and pop your beetroot greens in different recipes and things as a way to improve that nutrient. Hit. So the reason why beets are really good for your liver is because they contain a range of phytonutrients called bellatins. I will write it down below in case I'm butchering the word. It's betalanes, not bellatins, my bad. And these be betalanes support detoxification through an important phase two step in the liver. So yeah, so without further ado, let's get straight into making the three beetroot smoothies.
to begin by making the beet and berry smoothie, you want to grab your beet. If yours is fresh like mine from the garden, you want to just chop off all the outer skin and make sure it's washed as well so there's no dirt still on it. And then once it was chopped and ready to go, I added it to my blender with all the other ingredients. Now I used apples for the recipe in this, but you can also use apple juice, but preferably you want to use homemade apple juice or even just use organic apples if possible. Same with the strawberries, you want to try and go for organic strawberries. Now I only used a third of a cup of the beetroot so I had quite a lot left over so that's why I wrapped it up in that beeswax wrap to use for the following days when I made the other two smoothies for my snacks. Now I used a little bit of both fresh and frozen strawberries because I didn't have enough frozen strawberries to make up one and a third cups of frozen strawberries so you can use fresh as well just using frozen fruit means that the smoothie will be a lot thicker. Once you've blended up all the ingredients together you can pour your smoothie into a glass cup or whatever you're going to serve it in and then add on some mint or coconut flakes for garnishing if you like. Mm -hmm. Give myself a beetroot note. For the apple, ginger and beet smoothie, all you're going to do is add all the ingredients into a high speed blender. Just make sure you peel the ginger, this is something I didn't do. And it can cause the smoothie to have a bit of that fibrous ginger skin in there if you don't blitz it up enough. So if you're not a huge fan of that, maybe peel the ginger beforehand. But if you are not bothered like me, you can still use the ginger with its skin on it. It just makes the smoothie a bit more fibrous. So once you've added all the ingredients into your blender, you want to blend it on high until smooth just for around 15 to 30 seconds. For the beaten spinach smoothie, this one's pretty easy. All you do is place all the ingredients into your blender and blend on high for around 20 to 30 seconds. Don't over blend it though because when you over blend your smoothies, you can actually cook them in a way. And that just means you heat up the ingredients inside and it can sort of reduce the amount of nutrients found in those foods. And as we're using the beetroot raw, we want to keep as much of its nutrients in that beetroot as possible to help with the cleansing process and also to receive as many of those nutrients as possible. You can have the smoothie right away or pour it into ice cube trays or popsicle mold to have later on. And that is how you make not one, not two, but three different beetroot, beetroot smoothie recipes. There's a whole range of beet smoothies out there or smoothie bowls or juices that you guys can sort of tap into online and make those recipes so you don't have to just be limited to these three. I always encourage you to have a range of recipes and a range of foods that come into your diet again because it's great for your microbiome. We just don't eat enough variety nowadays. It's very much the same monotonous foods. So you have sweet potato fries, you have beetroot, you have broccoli, you have cauliflower. It's nice to go experimental and try different foods that are very uncommon like Jerusalem artichokes. That is what I'm trying at the moment. I'm trying to find them to begin with. But once I find them, I want to use them because they're really rich prebiotic foods. And prebiotic foods just help feed your gut microbiome. So yeah, please share with me which was your favourite. My personal favourite is number one. I just love beetroot combined with strawberries. Oh, best combo. I used apples rather than apple juice because I didn't have any apple juice ready. But you can just use apple juice that you've made or just apples like I did. So it's up to you. I also use green apples just because they're less sweet. So rather than the red apples, the green apples are like more like sour than sweet, like the red apples. I just prefer to use them. I use them a lot in my other liver cleanse drinks and things because they're really great for cleansing. But yeah, always go organic with apples especially and strawberries too. I heard in a podcast they spray them to no end with pesticides. So it's really, really a good idea to get organic strawberries and apples also beetroots if you can i'm very proud to have an organic beetroot that i grew myself i'm just a proud moment if you do make any of these recipes and you pop them on instagram or other social media sites please feel free to tag me i would love to see any recreations or any different kind of twists and spins that you've done on the recipes or if you just make other beetroot recipes i would love to see them to try them out myself so please do share with me love to see them yeah today's huge shout out goes to vegetal love Thank you so much for commenting on my natural deodorant citrus blend video. I'm so glad you liked it. Do let me know how it goes for you if you do try it out. I really love it. I think the scent of like the citrus combo is honestly whew, the best thing ever. And if you do find that it's like a little bit like too coconut oil, Lee, <laughs> feel free to just really reduce the amount of coconut oil. I, I often do that just because I don't like it being really like um 
melts in your like armpit sort of thing feeling where it just feels like it's like liquid and just dripping down which has happened in the past so do feel free to really reduce the amount of coconut oil down i just find it's good antibacterial and it's very soothing on the skin yeah anyway i'm so glad you guys enjoyed that video thank you for everyone for watching and commenting on my videos it really means so much to me i feel very loved in our little community so thank you so much i hope you guys have a wonderful day ahead can't wait to hear what you think of the video and I hope to see you in my future videos. It's been so much fun sharing this one with you guys, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.